Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas Ryan, and welcome to Comic Book 101. This is where we go through the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, the oh my gods of making a comic book in the indie comic book space. And I go through my mistakes, my blunders, so you don't have to, and you could be more successful much faster and much quicker. So, a lot of times when I'm out, either if I'm at a con or if I'm out selling my comic books, a lot of people always ask me, like, how do you go about making a comic book? And I think that's a really good question. I think I think that I think that's a really good question. I think that uh, I think that you know it's it's almost like a philosophical answer because there's no set uh rules that I go by when I try to make them. Um, I just kind of have a, a frame of mind and, and a frame of thinking when approaching it. So I think that's what I want to share with you guys today. Um, pretty much how I go about making a comic, what's going through my mind, and how I get from beginning to end. So the first thing that I do when I'm making a comic is I have an idea. Um, I start with an idea and ideas are weird because ideas that I get usually when I'm not doing the thing. So it, they come when I'm not doing the actual thing. So if I'm sitting there and I say, okay, let me write a comic book script. I'll sit there for hours and probably not have anything. But if I'm, I don't know, washing dishes or if I'm outside somewhere if i'm in a class if, so, if i'm somewhere totally not comic related i'll get hit with an idea and i think because a lot of the stories that i write they stem from life itself and i got kind of a twisted mind where i could just think of something and, and kind of twist it in a way to make it funny or, or interesting that something will happen and i'll be like you know it'd be really funny if this happened like this and i'm like you know i should make a comic about that and then that's usually where it starts uh from there uh from that point, you know, I'm just writing in prose. So writing in prose means you're not really writing. I'm, I'm not writing a comic script. What I'm writing, I'm just writing. I'm getting stuff on paper. That's usually the first step. Sometimes that's 10 pages. Sometimes it's five pages. Sometimes it's 20 pages, whatever. I write exactly what's going to happen in that story from beginning to end. And I write everything in painstaking detail. I mean, I write like like every single detail of what happens in that story. I write it down. And I, and I write it and I write it down and I get it all on paper. And from there, I'm able to look at it and say, OK, let me see what I can add in. Let me see what I should take out from there. And, um, you know, that's when the editing process starts. But, yeah, it's usually just a glob of words on the page <laughs> that I start with. And um, I just take it from there. Um, from there, I kind of like chisel it down and make it into something interesting make it into something with structure um the 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 process of writing i'll probably write a first draft which is kind of like um i call it a mud draft the first draft is like a mud draft where um you know it's in format but you know it's not really uh presentable like i couldn't give it to somebody and say hey write this but you know it, it's all about getting it down on paper this is this is the main thing about writing a comic book and, and really approaching a story is getting it down on paper getting all of it down on paper because one once you get it all down on paper now you don't have to worry about writer's block because you got it all down on paper it's not yeah it's not like finished it's not like in a, in a pristine state where you can just like show it to the world but it's out it's done it's out so now all you have to do is put it together and, and it's really after that it's about editing and really just like making it look pretty making it sound pretty after that point so uh getting it down on paper getting out getting it out is the most important step out of all of it um and sometimes it might take you a couple of days to get it out so um that's the next point because a lot of times when i write um i have a lot of ideas but i won't get to the end every time on the first day sometimes i'll write a lot of it and then i'll be like oh, man, i gotta come back to this because i can't sit here and write all day so that's where the discipline comes in now because now it's like OK, that means every day I get up until I'm done. I get up every day and I write it until it's done. So whether that's one page. Sorry, whether that's one page, whether that's a paragraph, whether that's a line every day, I write it until it's done. And that's how I get things complete. I don't take days off. You know, there's even if there's a day where I write a couple words, I write, I write a sentence, I, I write like a line of dialogue. That might be all I get out. That, But every single day there's something that has to come out and that is the surefire way that you complete something every single time 
it's every day like clockwork. It doesn't matter if that means like if you have to be to work at 10, then every day at eight, I'm up, you know, every day at eight, you're up and you're writing whether and whatever you get from eight to nine, eight to eight thirty, whatever your time schedule is, is what you get out. And you don't judge yourself on what you write because that's what the editing phase is for. And, you know, we'll talk about later about getting the editor and having somebody look over your stuff. But um, it's not it's not about judging yourself when you write when you're in this stage. You're just writing to get the stuff out, get it on paper and you're writing consistently because the way you get better at writing is by writing. So um, if you if you if you think it sucks, that's fine. We're not here to judge ourselves. We're here to, to get the work out, get the story out. We can worry about, you know, the arc of the character later. We can worry about, you know. I don't know the inciting incident or, 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 you know, the point we can worry about the point later, but the first and very most important step that I will stress about getting a story out, is just getting the story out, you know, it, it, in, in whatever form it comes out, write it on a napkin, write it in your notes, write it on your laptop, write it on a piece of paper, whatever, just get the story out, get the story out so you can get the story done and move on to the next one. Um, another thing that, a lot of people I see worry about when they're creating the story is I see people, they, they, they start off, uh, <laughs> they start off a little bit too uh, aggressive when they, when they're making a story. And what I mean by that is some people, they will start off by making an entire universe, like not a word of story, not, not one word of story, but they'll have a universe and they'll, they'll make a hundred characters and be like, this character does this. And I scale him against, against this character in, 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 in this franchise. And I'm going to scale this one against that person. And he has this power and he's OP. And, and, you know, stories are, are about characters, but their stories are more than characters. So, uh, one of the things that I don't focus on is characters. I never focus on a character. You know, whatever character comes about from whatever I'm making is just that's just the character that came about. I don't say, OK, I'm going to start with this character and then I'm going to build what happens. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't work like that, but that's just not how I work. Um, I, I start with a story and then I come back and I say, OK, who would be an interesting person to put here? And they probably won't have a name until <laughs> I'm near the end anyway. So they don't even have a name at that point. It's like, who would be an interesting person to put here? Like, you know, like. In a world where where lions walk on two feet, you know, who would be interesting to put as a protagonist here? Like, you know, a, a gazelle that walks on all fours, but can talk, but has a jetpack. Just, you know, and then it's just, you know, it just comes naturally. And then, you know, by by osmosis, you, you have a character and you, you can build off of that. But um, I always start with the, the story. I always start with the setting in the world. And then I place somebody in that world that. I think would be crazy interesting to see things from their perspective. And then from there, um, that's how I built the character into the story, but I built the character into the story. I don't build the story around the character. If that makes any sense, because sometimes I don't even determine the genre of the story until I'm like almost done. I write what I think is enjoyable and I write what is enjoyable to me. So, um, I do believe that there are people out in the world who enjoy the same things that I enjoy. I believe that there are people out in the world who enjoy the same brand of humor that I enjoy. So therefore I write the things that I find interesting. I write the things that I feel that I would want to read because that's me and everyone is invited. Um, I think a lot of times people get caught in a trap of saying, I'm going to write what's cool. So I'm going to write, a superhero story because superheroes are, are cool right now and everybody loves superheroes. So I'm going to make a superhero story. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that could work out for you to an extent, but I don't think in the long run, chasing a trend of what people are into is going to help you, um, stand out from the crowd. I think it's going to help you blend in more. So, um, I think that it's important to write what you think is cool, man, right from the heart. And one other point that I'll make about writing that, that I find very important is that when I write at times, there's some stuff that I write and I'll finish writing it and I, I'll feel so embarrassed. <laughs> I'll feel, inc I will feel completely embarrassed about what I wrote and I'll, and I'll kind of almost feel weird about it because it came from such a real place that it, it 
that that's the and that's the good stuff if that makes any sense that's the good stuff because it came from such a real place like i'll give it to somebody to read it and i'm like almost like cringing because i'm like man this is like ah man like uh, I, you know so um if you ever have that feeling when writing then that's perfectly normal and that's how you know you're into something good and that's how you know you wrote from the heart and from a real place because if you feel it you know that that's how you know it came from real place and a lot of times of a lot of things that i've written you know either i won't show it sometimes or when i do show it it's like or when i have to show it i'm like e especially if it's like client work and and i have to turn in what i wrote to them and i'm just like bad <laughs> they'll come back like yeah that was uh that was that was that was interesting i'm like yeah thank you man you know but um like i said we don't, we're not here to judge we don't judge ourselves but we write from the heart so um, if you feel what you're writing, that's just a surefire way of knowing that it's probably something very good. Because if you feel it, then someone else will likely feel it as well. Another important point when writing a comic book, uh, something that I keep in mind, and, and this is just my mindset, is that, listen, I, 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 I truly feel that if I write a comic book and I, I can tell myself with all honesty, with no doubt in myself that if nobody would ever read this comic book if i put this comic book out and not one person in the world knows that i wrote it if not one person in the world reads it i will be happy that i wrote this story and i think that's a very important mindset to have because uh you don't want to become dependent okay you don't want to become dependent on the the reaction of others when it comes to your work you want to have some type of joy it's hard to create when you're creating through someone else's lens right you want to create something that you feel something that you believe in something that that really moves you because you know in the indie space it's sometimes you can feel really unnoticed and that can be very discouraging at times to feel like well man i put this effort in for these people or for the world and the world kind of doesn't really care too much about what i did so um right from the heart and really do it for you do it because you love it do it because you enjoy it i know it sounds cliche when somebody says that but it's honestly true because you put yourself in a in a in a protective position almost when you when you work like that when you work like listen i'm making this stuff for me because i enjoy making this stuff and if nobody likes it if nobody wants to read it if nobody ever cares about it i care about it and it means something to me you know and and i think that's very important because compared to the flip side of i'm doing something like if I'm doing something that nobody cares about, including me, and I'm doing it, then that seems like a million times worse than me doing something that I actually care about, you know, and, and nobody else caring about. At least I care, you know, at least at least foundationally I care and I enjoyed it and I wanted to put this together. And the last part of what goes through my mind when I'm creating a comic book is be bold, you know be be courageous you know a lot of people a lot of times people are worried about saying the wrong thing about being canceled being shunned by other people man we're just creating you know we're just creatives we're just putting stuff out there into the world you know and and i'm not and i'm not condoning like go and just be super like disrespectful or just like super just like come on like you know th there's there's a, obviously a line that you're not gonna just go and you know, I won't say it here, but you're not just going to go in and just do stuff that, you know, is just morally wrong, you know, like morally wrong. You're not going to write that stuff and put it out there and expect people to read it and be happy about it. But for the most part, if you if you're if you're being bold and you're just having fun, be bold within reason. Have fun. Um, You know, when I say be bold, I don't say be be reckless, but be bold. You know, try something that you haven't tried. Try something that, you know, maybe you never did it before, you know. Try something that you've never seen before, you know, and and don't do it with the expectation that whether, you know, oh, somebody going to like this. Who cares? Who cares if nobody likes it? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> because that's what matters primarily when it comes to this work. It's not about it. You know, it is about people, uh, you know, like if 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 I was making comic books just for myself, then I, and I was never putting them out there and I just sit in the corner and I look at them all day for the rest of my life and I, I'll never show anybody. Then that's one reason to be like, all right, well, people don't matter. But obviously, if you're putting things out there for other people to enjoy, for other people to consume, yes, they, they are important. And it matters what they think. It matters how they feel. And you should take that in consideration. But I'm not saying I'm not saying not to. All I'm saying is don't let that be the crutch. Don't let that be the wall or the barrier to stop you from creating something that you really want to create. 
don't not create something because you feel like people are going to not like it or people are not going to like you because you because you made it. You wanted to make it. That's what creativity is about. You know, there may be there may be a hundred million people in the world that do not like your stuff, but maybe you and ten just love your stuff. And and you should be happy with that. Set realistic expectations for yourself and, and, and really just, you know, go out there and have fun with your stuff, man. I think that at its core, having fun and enjoying and, and, and smiling while you're writing and putting something together is a very important piece of the puzzle. So I hope that um and I hope that you can find that in whatever it is that you create. So I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. If I gave you some valuable nuggets today, definitely consider subscribing, consider leaving me a comment, leaving me a like, doing all that stuff that the algorithm likes to help me get out to more people and show more people my stuff and, you know, help more indie creators out there. So thank you very much. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. Peace.